Starter Watts. This is Tombs of Torment by Vision Thing, part 2. So we just discussed the stairs, also it's kind of annoying that you can't really... Well, stairs. Right, I love libraries, because they're always a special place. That thing closes way too fast. So I'm supposed to stay in here and fight whatever is in here. Right. Maybe I should grab this. There's only 14 enemies left, so as long as there are none... Knights or Archviles, I should be fine. I love libraries. I love libraries. They are among my favorite thing ever in Doom thing. Because they're detailed, they're realistic, and they're never too hard, but they also require a bit of effort. Like, you actually have to place in the thing and raise the sector to the correct layer and make sure that it has side textures which are different to these textures. It's just so nice. Libraries are so nice. Quick treasure search. So this thing... Um, really bad news? Nah. Let's aim well. One. Um, ow! Alright, this library is a bit cramped though, but again, completely subjective. Hello everyone. Joe Hill's here. Nice. You should be just about done. I said you should be just about done. Behave yourself, Jesus Christ. That's two out of fourteen. I presume I can yeah, I can climb up there as long as I jump, which is cheating. Does this open? Do these they look like they may open and there may be bad things behind them, but maybe not. So this thing. Is this gonna reveal the 12 enemies left and give me access to which is that the red or the yellow key? I'm not sure. Right, so what opens? Something must have opened. It can't be that easy. It is that easy. It wasn't that easy. Two. One. Two. Holy Jesus Christ, that was honest to God terrifying. Honest to Jesus, the the fucker Christ, that was terrifying. Also, I'm half asleep, so that may be why that scared me so much, but my God, that was scary. That's interesting, so this door also needs the blue key, even though you already required the blue key to come in here in the first place. I mean, it's interesting, and I mean, it fits the world building. After all, if the other is a blue key door, why should this one not be? It would be more comfortable from an act architectural point of view, if you're actually supposed to live here. Also, I probably could have run away from the, the Revenant and the Archpiles, but that was fun. All right, how are we doing? Seven more. And again, no new enemies here. It is okay, I guess. Uh, how many enemies did I say? Seven, and they're all... Fuck, they're all... This is a fast door. This is also a very wide door. Not a fan of wide doors, but again, subject to taste. What? Uh, so there are seven enemies through here. Maybe not seven, maybe there was another enemy in a secret, like the Revenant on the first one. That's... I am not prepared to deal with that. And the map was not prepared for me to deal with that either. Can enemies open these, this door? Can they do it? This is a non-repeatable door, which is... I mean, I guess if you're meant to be locked inside, it's okay, I guess, but... You sh yeah, you probably should have considered that somebody might end up locked in here. There are other ways to accomplish the same goal. And, well, obviously they're all better because they don't result in soft locks whenever the player is cautious. Or a coward in my case, but what you can do. The lighting is really nice though. I love how there's... All torches have these... The sectors light up in the specific pattern. How long must have that taken to align? Right, onwards we go. I don't want to just, all right, like a man, whoa, and, and I'm gonna save here, and, yeesh, so I saved on a bad spot. 
Oh, that's nice. For some reason, they all hate him. Come on, deal your damage. I think he's done. He's done. He ate. He finished his plate. And I'm about done with mine. Ooh, gonna... Even though it doesn't give me much health, because I wasn't that low, it does give me the punch bonus, although now that I think about it, I probably don't care much for it. Yeah, this is the last guy. Oh, he was almost done. Alright, am I feeling like, oh, another sarcophagi, that's nice. I don't know what sarcophagus, the plural form of sarcophagus is. Now, where would the... The secrets couldn't be in this room, because this is the last room, so it wouldn't make sense. Now, I'm a bit tired to go... 18 minutes. I'm a bit tired to go on a secret search, but I will look in the editor to see where the secrets were and what they were. Right, so we're about done. Um, okay, nice. I hold to jump in. Oh, I accidentally went in. Well, that was fun. That was fun. It's an interesting, like, throwback, how you have to jump through the, through the hole to get to the next level. That was fun. It had a couple of issues here and there, but the lighting, I liked the lighting a lot. Libraries, I love libraries. And uh, other than that, it wasn't very long, and that's something I really, really like. I like a what that has an appropriate amount of enemies. It's always so nice when you can just, you know, play a level and have it feel like a level, not a whole game, not a whole experience. I mean, if I wanted to play a whole game, I'd play a megawatt of eternity, completely recommended. How are we doing? Seven minutes, and now for part two, and I'm guessing that'll be it.